The Richest Man in Babylon Secrets of the First Millionaire To create wealth, save money, and invest it wisely. Why do only a few become rich? Because some save every penny they save, while others spend everything they earn on trinkets. It is necessary not only to save money, but also to know how to use it wisely. The first step is to start saving money. Lead an economical lifestyle. Reduce spending on pleasure. Spend a weekend not in Paris, but in the country or replace expensive toilet paper with a regular one. But this is not enough to become rich. Looking for investment opportunities. It's just that the money put aside does not increase in value. Even in the bank they bring negligible interest. Invest your savings in what makes a profit, stocks, government bonds or startups. If you do it right, your savings will grow without any additional effort on your part. Invest wisely. Trust your savings only to people who know how to use them. Don't lend to a lumberjack if he's going to start a diamond trading business. Financially successful people always admit they don't know much. Do you consider yourself a literate person? Or smart? If so, you will be surprised. Socrates said, I know that I know nothing. That is, a truly wise person understands and admits that he knows very little. With every grain of knowledge, new areas of ignorance open up. This is a fact. Example of Having studied the basics of the theory of relativity, we inevitably encounter its more complex areas and realize that we still do not understand much. We even feel more ignorant than before. Most people don't realize how little they know, especially in the area of finance. Many people find it difficult to calculate compound interest, but they rush forward with a modest knowledge base, having not studied a field in which they understand nothing. Example of Some, having learned the basics of investing in high-risk mortgages, thought it was enough to make a fortune. But they were expected to fail in, because they neglected to study the stability and riskiness of such a financial instrument. By delving into the study of finance, you can take advantage of the ignorance of the majority, identify investment opportunities before others or close more profitable deals. Wealth accumulates slowly by trial and error. Many dream of getting rich overnight. But this is possible only in lotteries. Getting rich is a long process consisting of many tiny steps forward and a few steps back. Why does it take so long? Because the world is constantly changing, especially financially. You can't just pick one strategy like investing in certain stocks and sit back and get paid. The financial system is unstable, sooner or later there is something like a stock market crash. You have to adapt to a new situation, learn about new strategies, experiment with them, and possibly fail a few times. And once you find a winning option, something is bound to happen again. By gaining experience, you will learn how to invest wisely. This kind of trial and error is analogous to scientific progress. Failed experiments can be very useful. If you have failed to invest in, for example, a high-risk mortgage, you will learn how to make better investments in the future. This method involves making mistakes. The key is to keep mistakes small, so don't invest money you can't afford to lose in risky ventures. Don't work for money money should work for you. Is there a difference between making money and getting rich? Most people think not. But there is a difference making money you work for money achieving wealth money works for you. Imagine that you work as a manager in a factory and receive a good salary every month. You make money, but you don't acquire wealth. To do this, you need to save and invest. By saving some of your income and investing it in real estate, you would achieve wealth. In this case, the money will work for you and not vice versa. Making money means achieving short-term financial success. You usually only think about what you can buy with your next paycheck. The future is of little concern to you. But the next paycheck may not be. Achieving wealth is a long-term goal. Example of the property you have purchased will not bring you immediate wealth, first you need to recoup the investment or wait for its value to increase. It will take some time. But when the property starts to generate income, it will do so as long as you own it. 
long-term planning will protect you from unexpected events such as losing a job. Investments that pay off with interest can be quite profitable. When you borrow money for example, take out a student loan, most likely you need to pay interest on it. Conversely, when you lend, you earn interest. This is one of the main ways to achieve wealth. Money is the same resource as employees or raw materials. Imagine you want to open a factory. What is needed for this? Raw materials for products and labor for its manufacture. You will have to pay for these resources. But you still need capital money to build a plant. Capital is also a resource and must be paid for. To attract employees you need to offer a decent salary, and to attract capital you need to offer investors interest. Interest for an investor is an attractive way to create wealth over time, you can increase your income by earning additional interest on interest. Example You invest in a new business. The owner pays you the original amount plus 10%, which is. You then reinvest the entire amount in another business on the same terms. As a result you get, your interest income has increased. Your money not only works tirelessly for you but is constantly improving in this business. Opportunity is the source of luck. Many people think that luck is an accident. But is it always an example of you have been training hard for several months and are participating in a tennis tournament. You win by hitting the top edge of the net with the ball so that it bounces and the opponent cannot return it. Luck no, you deserve good luck. When people talk about random luck, they mean chance. Chance is something random and uncontrollable winning the lottery or being struck by lightning. Luck is not accidental. It must be earned through hard work. How to make yourself more lucky? You must constantly look for opportunities to improve your well-being. Example of an entrepreneur looking for new technologies for consumers spends time every day studying trends, global financial health, and talking to inventors. One day, he learns that DDoVs are predicted to be the newest trend. On the same day, he hears about an inventor who has discovered a way to make DDoVs for half the normal price. The entrepreneur seizes the opportunity and starts making television sets, becoming very successful. Hard work, mindfulness, and looking for opportunities are the prerequisites for good luck. Work tirelessly to identify new opportunities and seize them immediately. The motto of the Boy Scouts is be prepared. Stick with it to find opportunities to increase wealth. Missing an opportunity is the cause of failure. Why do people turn down opportunities? Often they put them on the back burner. Example of if the same entrepreneur had decided not to invest in new detelevision technologies, but to wait until they proved themselves properly, the inventor would certainly have found another investor. Don't wait for an opportunity to be served on a silver platter, take the initiative and seize it. To increase the flow of opportunities, you need to work. Explore and explore areas of interest to you, build a network to identify and evaluate any opportunity faster. Brilliant opportunities are very rare, even if you work hard. You will have to wait, and this may disappoint you, it will seem as if your hard work is not bearing fruit. But your patience will pay off when the opportunity presents itself. Example of, the entrepreneur invented a radio that does not require electricity. He works hard improving his product, and then looking for investors. Within a year, investors turn him down, saying, now no one listens to the radio. Frustrated, he keeps looking until one investor discovers that the product is ideal for developing countries with an underdeveloped energy system. The product is ultimately a great success, the entrepreneur's patience paid off. Think rationally and do not take loans. Why do some people go bankrupt? They make irrational financial decisions. How to avoid it? Make all spending decisions based on a realistic assessment of your personal needs and financial circumstances. Example of, you desperately want a luxury car. In fact, you do not need it, and the purchase will require a large loan on unfavorable terms. You don't have to buy it, but let's say you did. Now you spend most of your income on paying interest, and then on paying off interest-bearing debt. 
you can't afford it, so you take out another loan to pay off the previous one. So you find yourself in a debt funnel. Taking a loan is a very bad idea. So you will not be able to accumulate money to invest and create wealth. Instead, you will have to spend income to pay off debt. Surprisingly, it can also harm creditors themselves by depriving debtors of the opportunity to increase their wealth. The credit makes them financially unstable, which leads to the total default of the debt, the nightmare of every creditor. Example of the recent Eurozone crisis. Greece was heavily indebted to the European Central Bank, had to make payments on the debt, and could not invest in education, infrastructure, transport, and so on, which is beneficial for the economy in the long run. Without these investments, the country will never achieve the wealth to pay off its debts in full. This could lead to defaults that would put both parties in a difficult position. Sometimes creditors need to put a hold on debt payments to get debtors back on their feet. The most important, say of, never take out a loan to buy a luxury item. It will be very difficult for you to get rid of such a load. If you desperately want something you can't afford, save money. Invest part of what you earn wisely. Don't spend everything you earn all at once. Set aside some of the funds and invest them, for example, in stocks or bonds. The money will start working for you earning interest. However, do it wisely, do not trust beginners or amateurs with your savings. No matter how attractive the opportunity may seem, if the person you trust with money is inexperienced, the investment will be unsuccessful. Work only with people who know what they are doing.